You're watching Soba FM. My favorite songs on it were. Type them out before I give my full thoughts. Okay. Um, my favorite songs on it were Baby Cakes. That's not Baby Cakes. Meaningless. Two hours. Plus. Where's plus? Uh, where the where's the plus sign? Oh, actually, <laughs> there we go. And I'll give this one a few stars to show that it was my favorite song. And this last song, the last dance, which is so fitting, it does sound like a last. Dance. Sounds like I don't know happiness, like an ephemeral moment. Want to hold on to. All right, these are my favorite songs off the project. Baby Cakes, Meaningless, Two Hours Plus, Last Dance, favorite being Two Hours Plus. And my, as for my thoughts on it, I'm going to give it 9.5 out of 10. Yeah, yeah. 9.5 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10, 9.5. We'll do 9. Because okay. I got to show that there's still like a, that there's, that it could always get better. And like, uh, 10 out of 10 means literally perfect. I'm sure this thought perfect, perfect. Because it ended. No, I'm just kidding. But, so short, sweet, but to the point. And to think it was only 32 minutes. Such, I don't know. So many like different, I don't know, like, styles and, um, I don't know, forms of like, creation within each song that it feels like it was a lot more than 32 minutes in a good way not like it was dragged out more like it felt like he did a lot in those 32 minutes like he made the most out of them even though it could have been he could have made an hour-long project or something but i think about it i think it's called non-perishable and it, it shows why his shit is his music is non-perishable and will have a longer shelf life than a lot of artists because and it because he's showing firsthand how he adapts to like um I don't know, uh, new styles of sounds that are emerging and how he's incorporating them to his own style where he's not losing himself, but he is, um, I don't know, putting his eggs in different baskets, dipping his toes into different pools of creativity, right? He has a lot of creative, um, a lot of creative, like, little details that add a lot in the mix of, and it brings out the best of his, like, his creative vision through, like, infectious melodies and just, I don't know, like, the, the right note at the right time, if that makes sense. Where it just feels like he's doing, oh, wait, let me put at a time. And I don't even know. It literally just let me, let me speechless. It actually just let me speechless. It really feels like art. And that's so cool. And it's so fire. I'm not explaining. It just, it makes you feel something in the best way possible. It gives you, it feels like each song takes you to a different place and it, and it takes you into a different world. And some of them have music videos that reflect that, but others don't need it, right? You, we're looking at like random non-perishable foods just drifting from screen to screen. But regardless of the food, it always has that satisfaction of like when the, the floating logo hits the corner at the right time. And I think that's such a good metaphor for it, where it's doing something different, hitting different beats, but then it strikes a chord in you. When it hits the, when it hits the corner, it strikes a chord. And I think he put a lot of time into this album. It feels like there's a lot of thought and a lot of hard work that went into it. And it, it shows. It really shows. I honestly think... This, along with DC's project, are the best projects of 2022, and it's only March, and Kendrick hasn't dropped. So, so for now, 9 out of 10. Probably my favorite, just from fire to song ratios, because DC to Don had 22 songs, but he went 22 for 22. And Toby Lou went, what was it, 10 for 10? 11 for 11. But... Some of them felt a little like they could have been expanded upon a little bit. Some of it gave like short, quick song snippet. I'm kind of feeling that's how I kind of felt like Hopeless Romantic, where it felt like you're just trying something. But I felt like a good single 
that shows like I'm doing a different sound. I'm getting experimental. You could tell like like even from when he shaved his hair, like it was like I like he wanted people to know that this was different and that it was worth listening to, and he definitely delivered on that. Yeah, different but worth listening to. I think is a very um, succinct way to put the album on like a sentence. But I fucking love the fucking mix. It felt like he was listening to a lot of hyper pop, but he incorporated that into his own sound. It it felt good. it felt like what Denzel Curry did with Taboo, where instead of just making like a dark gritty album, like I don't know, um, sixty four or um, Blood Moon or what's the project with Ultimate and uh, Book and Naughty Head and Zenith. Forgot the name of the project. Gonna get to me if I don't look it up. But instead of just making another... Not that those songs are bad. I mean, those projects are bad. But instead of making just a dark album, it felt like he... He showed more sides of his um artistic expression where they're all different, but they all feel like him. So it feels like he's doing all these different sounds, but he's not losing himself in them. Oh, Imperial. Bruh. But yeah. I don't know. It felt like Toby Lou did something similar. In his own way, where it's, I don't know, hitting, hitting a bunch of different beats at once, but they're all him. It's showing different sides of who he is as a person. And I think we got, he showed like a lot of himself as a person and as well as an artist. While spicing it up and trying new things. Definitely paid off. Yeah. But I'm just, I was, oof, I was just letting, you know. The words come out. I didn't really plan what I was gonna say. I probably could have come some, come up with something more, I don't know, poignant, like a an Anthony Fantano or a Sean C if I had time. But this is our first reaction. And that's how I feel. No edits, raw, uncut. So I'm gonna keep the pauses in. That that could just be copium, <laughs> me being lazy, not wanting to edit out my pauses. But I'm gonna do that. <laughs> it's the this is literally the full experience. I listen to it. So if you enjoyed. Feel free to hit the like button. Subscribe, share it to your friend, you know, maybe comment what you thought. I'd love to talk about it. And yeah, you know, you know what to do. Either way, it helps out a lot. Thank you for watching.